This is the Cadillac V Series R, the number two, raced in the 2023 Le Mans. This car placed in third place, and it is captured post race. Thus, the reason why the car looks race finished or dirty. And this is by Top Speed Models. This was the first year for the hypercar class where you had more than just one or two manufacturers. This was the premier race as it contained several manufacturers. That includes the likes of Ferrari and Peugeot. But this Cadillac, for some, was one of the favorites because of its distinct V8 sound. And placing in third, the car performed quite well. Now this race finish is definitely a very good recapture of the car after the end of the race. And I say that because not only does the finish look realistic, it actually has a gritty feel to it. So if you run your fingers across any of the green from the dirt and mud, it feels like dried dirt. The overall shape of the model is very, very accurate to the real thing. The paint is very nice. There's nothing more that could be done to make this paint look any better than what it does. It has all of the details that you would expect and want out of a really well detailed hypercar model. The standouts of this particular model is the fact that it is very accurate to the real thing. And they kept details that I think actually enhanced the model even more so. And what I mean, for example, this red that you see here, that is actually the LED for the car whenever the brakes are applied. And the lens on it looks really, really accurate to the real thing. And I like the fact that the reflector is actually red because it gives it much more of a distinct look as to how it appears on the real car. Again, as you look closely, you can see the spots that are rested onto the car due to it racing in the rain. And that is very common for Le Mans to have rain. It's, it's almost traditional now. Even the wheels, again, so accurate. The stained side marker or sign with the number two in the hypercar. They've been captured how some of the lettering is distorted due to, again, the mud and rain. The front lenses all darkened due to, again, the inclement weather. And it's also done very accurately. I do believe that the very best part of this race finish is how the windshield has been applied with the rain and how you can see where the wiper has wiped the stain off the window. And again, if you were to bring your finger across, you could feel the differences between the unwiped portion of that windshield and the wiped portion of the windshield. Not only does the rain and mud flow onto the surface of the car, but it also goes within the air dam as well. As you can see, the metal is also stained with mud. The rotors 
do show the effects of running 24 hours or if the brakes were changed at least half of those hours the greatest thing about race stain models is that you can look at this model one day and think you've captured all of the details and you could go back another day and find something different there is just so much to take in now if I was going to have a negative in regards to this model other than it's resin and none of the parts open but that's a given so we'll just put this in the resin category and not complain is that the tires look perfectly new and I do know in a weigh-in or after a race the tires are changed but if the tires were changed or the wheels are changed then they wouldn't look like this so obviously they did the effect but they did not scrub the tires at all let's see if the back looks any different and it does not other than that this model is a definite collector's dream if you're into race finished models or you want to capture something that's different than just a replica of a clean ready to race model or car or model of a car and there you are this is again the 2023 third place Le Mans racer the Cadillac hypercar by top speed and now to my conclusions I am so glad that TSM or top speed in this case has made these race finished versions now this is the second race finished version I reviewed by top speed the first one was the Corvette CR C8R so that was also a Le Mans dr driven car and that particular one when my daughters first saw it they said the car looked great up far away but up close they could tell that the dirt the mud it was painted on and it is actually painted on not that the other car isn't but there was no texture at all so if you look back on that model you'll notice that and I even mentioned it during that review that as good as it looked it did look like it was the stains the mud the dirt the grime was all looked like it was painted on whereas with the Cadillac you do have that grit so if you put your fingers on some of the cleaner sides of things it's smooth whereas where the dirt is you can actually feel that rough texture it looks much more convincing especially that windshield so if I was to put a rating onto this model I'm giving it two dollar signs I'm giving it two dollar signs because yes it will increase in value but with motorsports cars it's really funny how some cars will actually appraise much higher in values than others and this one will definitely go up in value because one it's the raced finished version and those tend to be far less in production in other words going to be far units of that particular one than the clean version which is available too by the way if you didn't know and it's historic it's a third place car so it will definitely increase in value just very slow so if you were turned off by that corvette version i would definitely recommend this one please like and subscribe that's the best way i'm going to know you're enjoying these videos i have a pagani coming up very next video i appreciate your time and i look forward to seeing you next time